Well, hello there and welcome to Improve Your Voice. My name is Darren McStay and today I'm going to be introducing you to some principles from this book here. This is Freeing the Natural Voice by Kristin Linklater. I've talked about it many times, um, but before we go on, I, I wanna just make clear that I am not um, a Kristin Linklater coach because there there is the Linklater Foundation or, or Academy or, or whatever it's called. You can find the website in the description box below. Um, and there are people who are trained specifically in her methods. I am not, even though I've been trained in her methods, I'm not trained to train her methods. So, that said, what I wanna do is introduce you to something that I find helpful with some clients and myself. I found useful when I first tried it, and it's, I call it the link later scale. And essentially what it is, the idea that I get, the, the, the benefits I get from this book more than anything, is how to connect my imagination with my voice. In order to stop, I guess, being so rigid about how I'm using it. And so by misdirecting myself and using my imagination, the voice unlocks and becomes freer to use. And all of a sudden you, you get more color and dynamics without forcing it or without adding any tension to your voice, which is often detrimental to using it in the first place. So what this can do is offer um, a way of thinking about different dynamics of your voice. And so I'm gonna introduce you this scale to you and we're gonna run through it and see if, you, if it works for you. If it does, maybe the link later is something you could look more, more into, but also it could be useful that you could use this in anything. If you feel like you're monotone or you wanna add more dynamics or color to your voice, people often talk about cadence and, and rhythm, but if you can think about different parts of your body, for example, the legs and pelvis is one area, then we have the belly, the solar plexus, the chest center, the heart, lips, mouth, mid cheeks, cheekbones, eyes, forehead, and then crown of your head. These are the parts that are in the scale, and it looks a bit like this. So, we have different sounds that we're gonna create for each part of the body. We start at the bottom with the legs and pelvis, and we're gonna create the sound Zoo, zoo. Then, if we think about the belly, we have whoa, and then we have the solar plexus, and we have sure, and then the chest center, go, then the heart, ma, then the lips, f, 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 then the mouth. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Then the mid cheeks, ba, ba, ba. Then the cheekbones, de, de, de. Then the eyes, pay, pay, pay. Then the forehead, ki, ki, ki. And then the crown, ri, ri, ri. Okay. Absolutely bonkers, I know, but we can go back down again. Ri, ki, pei, de, pa, ha, 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 fa, ma, go, shua, whoa, zu. All right, so I know I'm probably going to be taken away by the men in white coats any second, but these, this scale is really useful because what we've done, we've gone essentially from zoo, a really low and grounded, deep, like vowel ooh, sound, which is like, it really helps you to find and find that base of the sound. Because you know, if you connect it with your legs and your pelvis, zoo, imagine you're sending the vibrations there. Zoo, it's really low. And then if you go right up to the top and the imagine it's just jumping like a spring out the top of your head. Ri, ri, zoo. There's a huge range in dynamic from that. And my voice is just free to play because I'm using my imagination to consider something else other than the sound that I'm making. So zoo, whoa, sure, go, ma, f, ha, 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 ba, de, pay, ki, ri. It's quite a dynamic range of sounds. So if you feel that you wanna add more dynamics, why don't you check out this book, but also any link later teachers that you come across, 
might be able to offer this in more detail for you, but it, it just, I thought you could take that scale and maybe just connect different parts of your body with those sounds and see what happens, see how you feel. I hope that's useful for you and I want you to introduce it. It's not a full on lesson, but uh, maybe that's something you could put into your practice and see what benefits you get from it and stop really concentrating too much on what you're doing here and rather connect with your imagination. Okay, I'm Darren McStay. This is Improve Your Voice and until the next time, look after your voice. I so many tales to tell and up till now I've been telling them recently.